Welcome to The Burning of the Midnight Damp, where we are dissecting music history, album by album, and track by track. And we'll continue the journey on the debut album of Sparks, simply called Sparks, or originally Half Nelson. And we have come to the first track on side B on this album, or the seventh track, a song called Slow Boat, written by the two uh, brothers, Russell and Ron Mayel. And uh, yeah, as we will hear, maybe the most conventional song on the album. Chris here hasn't heard anything from this album before. Ron, kind of, a little bit here and there. It's also kind of a reaction to these songs. And we're just going to go ahead and listen to Slowbot. Yes, let's do. Seven track, slow boat. Yeah, that was a surprise. It, it, it's a normal song. <laughs> <laughs> well, as normal as it gets, I guess. It's 
it was almost surprisingly conventional. Yes, mm -hmm. this is something you could uh, hear a bunch of drunk guys in the pub singing along to. And that's uh, you cannot say that uh, for the previous seven songs. Maybe the best, uh, I, can't, uh, I picked this up somewhere, uh, someone commented and described it very well. It could have been a Neil Diamond song. <laughs> yes, it could have been. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. Sailor Wipe. It could also be just like a run-of-the-mill, boring Beatles song. Yeah, it had some Beatles uh, DNA. Mm -hmm. And Beatles is... Uh, and I think it maybe the organ in the ending. Yeah, uh, yeah. Something with the build-up. It's interesting you mentioned that, um, because Ron Mayall, when he commented on this song, he said, this was written around the time of Bridge, of, of Bridge Over Troubled Water and Let It Be. Yeah. The reason mm -hmm. for this not... Uh, the reason for this one not being accepted can only be attributed but to a lack of backing by the record company. And Russell said, should have been a single at some point during its lifetime. Shouldn't it have? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, this sounds mm -hmm. much more like uh, the one top 100 single that they had than Wonder Girl, which uh, does not sound like uh, that at all. But uh, yeah, it has a guitar solo again and uh, an interesting uh, uh, piano, instrumental, very treated piano, uh, some Todd Rundgren uh, turning on the knobs, uh, the more, making it very, very interesting. Mm. There's a lot of panning. A again. lot of panning. Yeah. You should listen to this with headphones on. Yeah. Mm. That we have worked really well in hand mm. notes. Mm -hmm. mm. I'd say it's, it's, it's basically a soft rock ballad. Um, mm. And based on the comments, uh, I, I think they are, uh, I, don't, I don't think they are ironic in these comments. I think they really like this song. Um, and uh, they also uh, made a little bit of, of a show out of it when they played it live. Because they actually made a boat in Pep paper mache that they put on uh, on the stage and, and Russell was sitting inside this one as he was singing the song and the roadie had to pull him back and forwards on wheels that's a lot of paper you need did he pull him slow I would assume so <laughs> usually the stage was quite small as well so it didn't move sure. a lot yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> must be a very Funny to see. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, no, a nice song. It even had some modulation, just as the guitar solo starts, mm -hmm. or uh, guitar solo is playing over the chorus. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a nice uh, power. Uh, it's a powerful moment, and uh, especially the ending is is you know has quite a momentum in it. Lyrically, yeah. also maybe quite uh, straightforward in a way. Mm -hmm. And requited love, maybe. Difficulties are moving on after the singer's girl has left him for someone else, basically. Classic uh, love story or uh, heartbreak uh, lyrics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or just a song about uh, w vessels on the water that <laughs> can't go very fast. That too. It's um, it said that the song inspired a much later Spark song called All That from 2020 uh, on their album Steady Drip Drip Drip, which is a great song, actually. I think I actually prefer that better than this one. Did you say it inspired? Is it similar it, or just... It, it's been lyrical, said that it musical? was inspired by this song. Uh, Kind of have both of them have kind of the same positive, uplifting atmosphere. All that, maybe even more, because they have a very powerful chorus. It's a great, uh, great moment in the uh, in the trailer actually for their documentary, Sparks Brothers, where they where they play that song over uh, over an, uh, a live concert, and that's yeah, the other one, not this. Yeah, the other one. Yeah, yeah. but as an as a Sparks newcomer. Uh, when you say they have another song that reminds of this because it's uplifting, <laughs> does that um, mean that no, uh, there are no, a few? Uh, 
No, definitely not. A lot of their songs are uh, kind, over the top, happy songs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And, uh, if we continue the Sparks journey, we will have a lot of those mm. later. But not that much more to be said, really. It's a good, solid opening to say side, side, side A. Uh, sorry, side B. Side B yeah. mm. Mm. It's actually a quite good opening song. Well, Start slow and it's, builds. Mm. It's not one that I intentionally would put on like the others we heard. But um, if it came on the radio, I wouldn't switch channel. No, because Tron, he likes Neil Diamond. <laughs> yes. Who doesn't like Neil Diamond? I don't understand really the <laughs> why, why girl you'll be a woman girl. soon. That's a new diamond song. Mm. Yes. Which eat alignment. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many. Yeah, it's hard to pick one. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you again soon with the next track on side B. Where we go from very conventional to very unconventional the next track called biology 2 one of the few songs that is not written by the two brothers what happened to biology one i'm not sure and i have no idea why it's called biology two. probably got scrapped <laughs> <laughs> we'll see we'll see so join us in a couple of days for a, a bit of an odd uh, track uh, and let us know also in the comments below if you liked this track or not. And if you think also that it may sound a little bit like Neil Diamond. And if you like Neil Diamond, leave us a comment below on that as well. <laughs> Maybe we should start the Neil Diamond album by album. Maybe. Maybe. Would have been quite fun. I have a nice story about Neil Diamond. So if we ever get to do a podcast... I will save it. Well, now we have to do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do have a podcast, as John mentioned, uh, where we discuss this album um, or more from this album and other albums before that. And of course, we will continue to do other albums in the future. We also have a Patreon where you can get early access to everything on this album. And uh, so if you'd like to support us, go over there and have a look. Uh, until then. It's only for us to say goodbye. My name has been, has been, my name is Frode. <laughs> my name has also been Tron. And I'm still Chris. <laughs> Great. Have a nice day. Good night. Sail away. <laughs>